This video is just going to show you how to set up a very basic project in Visual Studio so that you can start learning how to program in C++. Depending on which version of Visual Studio you're running, this uh, beginning stuff and the screens may look a little bit different, but generally the menu options have the same text. So you should be able to figure out, even if you have an earlier version, I'm working with um, C++ uh, 2010 Express version, but if you're running an older version or the full version of Visual Studio, these menus should be similar enough that you can figure it out. So I've got three options here. One is that it has a list of all my most recent projects that I can grab and open, something that I've been working on recently. If I don't see it there, I can click on Open Project to get it. Or if I'm starting fresh, I can choose New Project, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I need to make sure that I'm choosing to make a Win32 console application, so I'm going to check Win32 over here and then make sure it's a console application because I just want to learn how to do some very simple programming right from the start, so I'll choose those two options. Then I have to give my project a name. I'm going to call this Video Demo. And then I have the option to change where it's going to save. By default, Visual Studio is going to set up some folders for you, make a folder called Projects in there, and organize all your work inside of that folder. If you don't want it to do that, you can browse to a different location, but I'm just going to let it do that for me. So I'm not going to change anything here, and then I'm going to say OK. Now it's very important that I step through the next few menus and don't just hit Finish right off the bat, because on the next screen, I must choose this little box that says empty project. If I forget to do that, it's going to make all this extra stuff that me as a beginning programmer, I don't need it. And in fact, it's going to make stuff not work right when I try to do some very simple code. So I always have to make sure I've checked this empty project box before I go ahead and hit finish. Okay. So now it takes a second, but Visual Studio sets up for me a bunch of empty folders over here in the Solution Explorer. And what I need to do is make myself a file into which I can type my source code. And all I have to do is find the source files folder, right click and choose add new item. And then I'm going to make sure I'm adding something that's code and I want it to be a .cpp file. So I'll choose those two options. Then I have to give my file a name. Um, I'm going to just name it the same thing. It doesn't really matter. I want to choose names that let me figure out what I was working on so I can go and find it later. So it makes these names be something meaningful and not a bunch of garbage. Or once you have like 20 projects, you're not going to be able to figure out which one was which. So name it something meaningful. Once you've got the name in here, let's choose add. And now I've got my blank screen where I can start typing all my code. And that's basically how you get a project set up and ready to go in Visual Studio. Now sometimes you'll accidentally close windows, like if I lose my Solution Explorer, I can freak out and not remember how to get it back. And the easiest thing to do if you accidentally lose stuff is to just reset it to the default layout, which you can do from this Windows menu. Um, and then I can just reset the window layout, say yes. It'll grab all my windows back um, in case I can't find them. And that'll take care of that. So now you are ready to start coding.